So Sham Sharania just, you know, announced that Denzel Valentine has signed a Exhibit 10 contract, which basically is a training camp deal, and Valentine will compete for one of the open roster spots on the Boston Celtics. First off, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Are you, you know, a Chicago Bulls fan or a Celtics fan? Who's you know, or even a Cavaliers fan? Because I know you played for the Cavs. What do you guys think of Denzel Valentine? Denzel Valentine played for Michigan State. He's a six foot five wing who has actually some ball handling skill. Like he's not horrendous at ball handling. He can make some passes. And this past season, he actually played in the G League. You know, he played for a handful of teams. Actually, for the Cavs a little bit. He played for the Jazz a little bit, but mainly he played twelve games for. The main Celtics, which is the affiliate, obviously, for the Boston Celtics, averaging 15 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists in 31.8 minutes, a night 44% from the field, 35% from three. Got about, you know, two, like, what, what, one steal a game and then averaged two fouls a game. So, obviously, he still shows you can hoop and... He's a guy who seems like he's praised amongst locker rooms as a good locker room guy. And seems like people enjoy having his company around. But I wonder, I always thought it was athleticism his problem. And he's a guy that also, in the NBA, his career high is basically been 6 points, 6.8 points. Okay, and being... You know about league average a three point of a three point shooter. So we're not going to sit here and be like, oh, Denzel Valentine, he's he's got a strap because that's not true. But he's you know decent defensive guy. He'll bring some versatility to you. I think he comes down as a good locker room guy and a guy who's just been around their their culture and a guy that people must enjoy. Because for me, it seems like he's definitely, you know, look, I don't, he's on the, he was a guy who was a borderline lottery pick or was he a lottery pick? I just, he, was he the 14th pick? Or was he the, yeah, he was, so he was the last pick of the lottery. He's 28 years old. He hasn't developed into anything absurdly special not saying that he's not a bad player. He's still one of the best players in the world. Don't get me wrong. He can go to overseas and make millions of dollars. And I dream of having his skill at basketball. You know, that's why I go and play. Like, I'm about to go to work because, I, you know, today's my off day. I don't have class on Monday or Friday. But I picked up a shift at the, the art store, uh, you know, the school art store. So I'm going to work a two-hour shift and then hit the rack. Just play basketball, but I know there's not going to really be that many people to play. So just going to go over there, do some zigzags, work on my ball handling, and, and basically, yeah, just keep working on that ball handling. So I just that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Well, do you guys like this sign? Sign? Do you think like? Do you think it's gonna uh, gonna work? Or he'll make the roster. Who do you think even expects makes the roster for them? It's it's wild. Their team. Well, interesting, interesting what could go down. So let me hear your thoughts down below. Hope you guys do have a great day. That's basically it from me. But I don't think there's anything we could talk. Go check out my NBA show, 6 p.m. Eastern time today. And then... Yeah, I think it's, we're doing, yeah, 5 p.m. Central. So, have a good one.